Hi everyone, my name is Alina and this is Cray Club. For today's Cray Club craft, we will be doing a shooting star craft. So this is how our shooting star will look. We'll have our shooting star template and then we'll have some string and some straws and beads in the back and our shooting star is going to glide all the way up. And I'll show you an example later on in this video how our shooting star will glide up. Um, but for this craft, you should have received a straw, some yarn, two beads, and a shooting star coloring template in your kit. The things that you'll need from home is some scissors, some tape, and any sort of coloring material, so crayons, paint, markers, anything you have on hand will do just great. So once you have all your materials ready, then you're ready to start the craft. So let's get started. So before starting our shooting star glider, we will first need to color and cut out our star template. I've gone ahead and color and cut out my star template. And once your star is ready for the craft, then you'll need your straw, some scissors, and your tape. So what we're going to do is make the two tunnels for the string to go through in the back of the star. So when you grab your straw, you're going to cut the straw in half. And we're going to be using the piece that does not bend. So you'll set that aside and we'll grab this straw and then we're going to cut it in half again and we want to make sure the two straw pieces are short enough to fit on the back of the shooting star. So I'll cut this again. Let's see, I think I can make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to cut it shorter, a bit more shorter. And there you go. So these are the perfect size straws for our tunnel for our string in the back of the shooting star. So now once you have your straws ready, we're going to tape them down on the back of the shooting star. So we'll grab our tape, we'll grab a piece of tape and tape one of the straws down. And then we'll grab another piece of tape and tape the other straw down. There we go, we have the start of our shooting star glider. Now for the next step of our shooting star glider, we'll need our string and our two beads. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put one end of the string through the straw. And then we're going to put the other end of the string on the other straw. Now this is going to create the loop that is needed to make the star glide on a doorknob or a hook. So there we go. Now to prevent the string from going through the straws, we're going to tie the beads on each end of the string. So grab this first string, and sometimes you might need to twist the ends of the yarn so it doesn't become unraveled. And then you put it through the bead. There we go. And then we'll tie a knot. So you go over the bead, loop it, and tie it. There we go, we have one, and then we'll do the other yarn strip. And tie it. And there we go. Now our yarn is secured and the loop is ready to be hung on a doorknob or a hook. So now I will show you how the star will glide. 
So once you hang your shooting star on a doorknob or a hook, we'll grab the back of the shooting star and we'll grab the two beads. And once you have the two beads, you're gonna pull down and out to uh, make the shooting star glide up. So once you grab the bead, you pull and it glides all the way up. So once again, you grab the beads and pull down and out and the shooting star will glide all the way up. So once again, here is our final shooting star craft. And again, it'll just glide right up. So I hope you enjoyed today's Create Club and I'll see you next time. Bye.